Good morning students. This video is for class 3 science and today we will start the first chapter that is coming in your second unit that is food we get from plants. In the earlier chapter, in the previous chapter we have studied about how important plant is for our, for us to survive in. For not only human beings but for animals also how much it is important for us to survive. Now today we will study about what are the different type of food that we get from plants? We have already studied about the timber we get from plants, the medicine we get from plants, how plants are useful to us. So today we will, in this chapter, we will specially study about the different type of food that we get from plants. Plants are very useful to us. We get a large number of useful products such as oil, spices, medicines and other edible things from different types of plants. So it is not only the plants that it provides only oxygen for us, it also provides us with different types of food. Not only food, but oil, spices, medicines, and there are other different types of eatable things which we get from plants. So we have to consider that plants are very important in our life. Let's learn about the different types of plant and their edible parts. Types of plants. Plants are categorized into three types, mainly three. So plants, suppose first one is trunk, sorry, first one is trees. We will, I will show you the different type of categories. First is trees, the second one is shrubs, then you have herbs. Then you have climbers, then you have creepers. Before we start with the chapter, let me tell you, trees are big plants that you see. Shrubs are not very small in height, but they are not that big also as compared to trees. Trees live for many years, shrubs live for few years, herbs for one season. Climbers also one season. Climbers are those plants which do not have strong stem to stand up, right? They, they take the support of some external object to move upward. And creepers are those plants <coughs> which bear big fruits, big vegetables. They are heavy vegetables. And just because the vegetables or fruits are very heavy, they do not, they cannot grow upright they crawl on the ground. So these are the different types of plants. Let us see. Plants differ, differ from each other based on, the, on their size and the type of stem they have. So these different types of plants, they actually, why are they categorized? Why are they divided into different parts, different section? According to the size as well as the type of stem. In some, the, the stems are very strong, very hard. In some, the stems are very weak. Some plants are big and strong while some are weak and small. Plants are broadly categorized into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. First let us study about trees. Trees as I have told you they are very tall and they are very strong. The branches of trees are very strong. They are woody and they live for many years. Trees are tall and strong plants that can live for many years. They have a thick main woody stem called trunk. So if you see a tree, suppose a tree when they grow the main the main branch the main branch is very strong and very thick in size very big in size it is known as trunk. From the trunk many branches grow that usually bears leaves flowers and fruits. So from this trunk many branches grow and these branches bear different leaves, flowers as well as fruits. The next is shrubs. Next is shrubs. Shrubs are small to medium sized plant that can live for several years. So from not very small but they are medium sized plants which live for several years. They do not live for many years or they do not live for very few days or months. They live for few years or several years. They are smaller than trees. If you compare according to the size, 
they are smaller than the trees that you find, big trees. They, are, they usually have thin woody stem growing close to the ground. <coughs> the stem of this branch uh, tree, shrubs, are not as thick as trees, but they are woody. They are strong enough to live for several years and support the weight of the plant and hold them upright. They are also called bushes. So these shrubs are also known as bushes. So I hope all of you have understood this children. Please read the, after watching the videos. Please read this first page. In the next class, we will we will continue with the different types of plants. So for today, up to this much. Thank you, class.